On the easel today, this is a cassowary bird. It's native to Australia and they call it a living dinosaur. I found this online because I was looking for some cool images and uh, the bird just kind of struck me, kind of stood out. I added some stuff to it, stuff on the back right here and down here is like a claw. Uh, I was using my imagination and this video is about imagination. It's about creativity, about taking something and transforming it into something else. Um, I had no I had no intentions of making this be an actual cassowary. As far as the painting went, I wanted to make it into an alien monster. If you follow my page, you know I like my alien monsters. So this part here was definitely influenced by the xenomorph um, from Alien, the design. Um, I was just looking at the, the xenomorph and I was looking at how it was put together. I thought it would be really cool if I added that to the, to the back and kind of made the composition if you can kind of see the swoop here and this claw kind of bends back and makes a circle right here. I'm all about composition. I do a lot of photography, a lot of sports photography, at least, at least I used to. And I was really super big on composing my photographs, especially on the move, because most of the stuff I did, you know, volleyball, football, it's all action packed. And you gotta really work at it as you go, then come back and, and edit and work on your composition. But I learned a lot of that skills before doing my artwork. I mean, at the university, composition was, was a huge part of our class. Uh, and, and I think a lot of artists, I, I don't see composition taught a lot, even on like YouTube videos. I see basic drawing skills, basic painting skills, but I've seen like some, some stuff about composition, but I think composition really makes a big, huge difference in creativity. Uh, the color of this thing, cassowaries are a bluebird, they technically are. But all these little veins and things I threw in there, um, I was just painting it. I thought, how cool would it be to add these little veins? You're not going to find that on the actual bird. The eyeball, I, I worked on that because eyes are very important to me. They're the soul of your of your life, whatever. And it, I had to make this thing really stand out. And I think I did a fair job with it. Here, I put it at like a reflective uh, metal or it could be see-through, one of the two. But I was trying to capture the look of like a reflective object right there. So I really want to be creative. The colors here, the actual cassowary is, has no red in it that I know of. I just added that. Um, the highlights just kind of came on the spur of the moment. Um, this crest here uh, took me a couple hours to get through because I really wanted to get that veiny look through it. Uh, I was trying to match some colors from here up into here so it would be more cohesive. Um, I tried to do the background so it looked like it was uh, in, way in the background uh, out of focus. So um, the, the point of this picture was once I had my actual image, I just wanted to have fun with it and be creative and use my imagination. And uh, I don't see imagination taught a lot on these YouTube videos. Of course, I see just a few of 10 billion of them. I'm sure there's lots and lots of them that talk about imagination, but, but I don't see it. So I just want to talk about imagination and creativity. To me, that's what art is. When I see these pictures on Facebook of these uh, amazing pictures of eyeballs and fingers and water drops that are photographically real, I, I think that's some real skill that guy or gal has. They're very skilled at what they're doing, but I can't go as far as saying it's artistic because um, you have to, to me, the, the creativity part is taking that image and hey, look, that's my cat Sherbert right there. See that? All right, thanks, Sherbert, for getting my video. <laughs> Anyway, um, so this video is on creativity, and I'm going to throw up another painting here, too. Give me a second to get her up here. This painting, tell me if you can tell what the original picture was. It was a vulture. Um, vultures don't look like that. Well, they kind of do, because I, I used my projector and I traced the original image. But I added this. I added the spiky things in the mouth. I added this metal piece right here. Vultures don't usually have that much uh, feathers. I added all that. Uh, the planets and stuff, that was just for fun because I was trying to, once again, fill out the composition. I needed to have something over here to balance out what was over here or else it was going to look kind of funny. Right, when, when I do images like this, I always leave room in front of the face for the uh, being or whatever it is to look into. That's a compositional thing. But then once I had that, I had to also kind of backfill it a bit 
so it balanced out. So I don't want it to, from the eyeball, I don't want people to look at it and go, it, this looks funny to me. I don't like the way it looks, it's not balanced. But if I had put the nose too far forward, it would have been really weird. So the colors, you know, I chose uh, this uh, burnt umber with some red, um, a, a basically a kind of a neutral gray background. Um, I, once again, I was trying not to go overboard with my colors. I was going through a phase where I was going way overboard with my colors. And this one's not bad. The, the red's kind of an accent color. I like it. Um, I like the way the feathers look. I was just starting feathers, trying to learn how to do it. And I've done a lot since then. But this, is, this isn't too bad. I kind of like this. So um, overall, this is a lot of, imag of imagination. It's a lot of creativity. And uh, this is the kind of thing that I think that... Um, any teenage kid would love to have this hang in the room. I would, and I'm not a teenage kid anymore. Um, in a way, I wish that, uh, I, I don't know if my followers like what I do, because nobody ever tells me. Tell me, do you like what I do? Um, but I like it. I guess that's what ultimately matters, right? It matters if I care. Um, if you came to my channel, if you like my channel, then hopefully you like what I do. So this is my creativity and my imagination and most of my art artwork looks like this. Lately, I've been putting out some stuff that's been a little bit more bland, I'll have to say, just to, just to, to get some artwork on this page. I have 180 videos now, so it, it takes a long time. This picture probably took me four hours to do, and um, I can normally whip out my uh, artwork now in about an hour, hour and a half, but I'm not, I'm not doing full paintings. I mean, this thing, this is a full canvas, it's a lot of work, um, what I'm doing now is more like uh, just on paper. It's easier to do. Um, I eventually plan to get back to this, but for now, until I get to at least 200 videos, I'm going to stick with the paper. So if anybody wants to buy this painting or the other one, hey, I'll sell it to you. Uh, a million bucks. I got PayPal and my wife has Venmo.